Hi everyone, I'm Nate, Sacramento Public Library's Early Learning Specialist, and I'm here today with Dr. Janae Brownwood, and we're talking about early math. Dr. Brownwood is a professor of early childhood education at Folsom Lake College and has written over 20 books for young children, including some of my personal faves, uh, Grandma's Tiny House, which is a counting story, <laughs> Logan's Greenhouse, which is a part of this wonderful series called Where in the Garden, um, and a book that um, has recently released Too Small Tyson, which plays with measurement ideas and is quite fun to read with your children. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about why early math is valuable to look at in the first five years of a child's life and ways you might be able to support that growth at home. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. This is such a pleasure. Yeah, it's a joy to see you. Uh, let's kick it off with the question, what is early math and why is it important to focus on in those first couple years? Absolutely, so when I think about early math, um, I think about this range of skills, concepts, understandings that are foundational for later mathematical and more complex ideas. And this early math learning is happening at a very young age. So we're talking about zero to five because when children are having these experiences experiences with math around them, their brains are starting to form these strong networks mm -hmm. that continue, continue to get stronger and stronger and then allow for them to then build on more complicated and complex ideas later on. So that's happening early. Sure. We're talking about an infant that comes into the world is already starting to pick up these understandings of the world, mm -hmm. right, and the environment around them and the experiences that they have with caregivers and those within the world are, again, establishing these key foundations. Mm -hmm. And math is a part of that. For sure. yeah. It's nice that you point out that the environment that a child is experiencing, even at that very, very early age, mm -hmm. is a way that they're exploring math ideas and concepts. Yeah. I wonder if you could talk to us a little bit about um, uh, ways that children are learning math that might surprise an adult. Yeah. Some idea that they are learning. You know, math is everywhere. That's what I really want to underline. Math is everywhere. And so when adults can notice the math, mm -hmm. that helps them then to already make connections for mm -hmm. young children. So, for example, kids love blocks, right? Yeah. Blocks are fun. They're hands-on. They help you uh, build fine motor skills. Mm -hmm. But you're also starting to build those mathematical foundations as well. Mm -hmm. Children building the things, uh, the block towers up, right? Knock it down. Pushing cause down. an effect. Yeah. Cause an effect effect. Looking at the different shapes of the blocks, trying to fit something next to another. We're talking about spatial awareness and spatial skills. So even something like playing blocks, um, even things like when they are running outside and they're jumping, they're having to use some spatial mm -hmm. awareness as they're skipping from one foot to the next. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think often people wouldn't think about that as math right off, but it is. Yeah. And if you have a knowledgeable adult who can come in and say, well, let's count how many times you skipped. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. We're introducing number sense, right? Mm -hmm. um, how many steps do I take compared to your? We have comparisons. Right. So I... It's, it's really about turning on this lens as an adult to say there is math everywhere. Mm -hmm. How can I pinpoint it for children and help to form those foundations? Yeah. I love that you focus also on playful activities, yeah. like playing with your child is a way to encourage math learning. Mm -hmm. um, blocks, building them up, knocking them down, of <laughs> yep, course, super all fun. all of that. Um, can you leave us with some ways that at home um, a, an adult can really encourage this play, aside from building up blocks, maybe, and knocking them down? Absolutely. One of the key things, I think, and this, you know, it, it's free. It just mm -hmm. means going outside. It's, mm -hmm. it's just that. Taking children out for walks in the environment. Mm -hmm. You can, again, find math everywhere. So maybe you're walking and you say, look at all these trees. How many do you think there are? And so now you've, you've got counting with the trees around them. Mm -hmm. What about if you children love to collect things, if they start to pick up different types of leaves mm -hmm. and you collect leaves and then you take them home and you count them out, but then you might sort them. Yeah. I'm going to put all the green ones here. I'm going to mm -hmm. put the yellow ones here, the brown ones. You might even use them as patterns, green, brown, yellow, green, brown, yellow. <laughs> and that's very basic stuff like nature that's right outside your door mm -hmm. that's helping to you know, support early math skills. Oh, it's so wonderful. Free, in your community, play with math. Exactly. That's right. Thank you so much for joining with us. Um, I wonder if you want to let us know where we can find you online. Absolutely. So as, um, as Nate already said, I write lots of books, and generally my books have some disguised learning, meaning that there's some kind of concept in there that a child will learn, but they're engaged in really fun stories as well. So you can check out my website. It's just www.janaebrownwood.com. I'm on Twitter. It's just at Janae 
Brown Wood. Same thing for Instagram, at Janae Brown Wood. And I'm on Facebook. If you look for me, Janae Brown Wood, author and educator. And, you know, reach out, say hi, and share some pictures with me of children engaging in math in your community.